you'd think the, the white tails would be down on the bottom, but and the mule deer would be up in the mountains. However, in Arizona, in this desert country south of Phoenix, it's the opposite. Coos deer will want to get away from the road. That's the one species in Arizona. Further away from the roads you get, generally that's when you start having the better luck, especially if you can find those remote water sources. But the mule deer here in the desert act like a total different species. And the thing about Arizona also, there's so much land and the animal density is pretty low. There's not just one great spot that a big buck can hang out in. There's about 10 spots in his home range. The tactic is to just always keep moving. And so sometimes getting way into a remote canyon or on a remote hillside somewhere is counterproductive. In Arizona, even though it's a big landscape, a lot of times you do have to think small. And what I mean by that is when the shooting starts and these animals are pushed into their safety spots within their home range, a lot of these spots are very small, like just a few hundred yards. Because remember in Arizona for rifle season, we only have a one week season for late bull elk. So when they sense it's time to go into hiding, it's very difficult sometimes to find them. What you want to look for are multiple water holes within one location because if they sense a hunter is setting up at a water hole and a lot of times they're within earshot or they can smell what's coming in, they'll start their feeding pattern towards a different water hole. The amount of rainfall that we've received in Arizona is very important because if we've gotten a lot of rain, it usually spreads out the animals across the landscape, making them harder to find, yet lower hunter density. And then when it's really dry, it's very important to know where the water is because that's kind of where the animals will congregate. If it's dry for a considerable period, the area around these nice good water holes are over foraged. So the animals kind of move further and further away. They will travel a little further for water when it's dry. It changes your hunting tactic quite a lot and it also changes where you hunt. If you're in that late archery season for bull elk and you're trying to sit water, if we get one inch of precipitation, they'll be able to find water away from that water hole for about 10 days. 